hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see all the basics of tab bar in flutter so let's start so for the beginners uh, follow this video properly and first we need to declare the tab controller to get the tab bar for our tab bar and in the init we can initialize our tab controller by giving a tab controller equal to tab controller and this tab controller takes takes the length suppose we want to get two tabs so we can get the length of two and in the vsync we can get the context as this so at first it sh shows some errors now how to deal with this error is we can just extend our class with a ticker provider mix in state mix in okay so now the error is gone let's save our app and now first we'll see how we can get the tabs in our app bar so for that simply right bottom and in the bottom give the tab bar okay so now in the tab bar it takes tabs as we want two tabs we can give it a controller first tab controller and in the tabs let's say the text of our, of our tab like take a tab and in the text give the label that you want for example tab 1 and in the another tab let's say text of tab 2 okay so now let's save our app and there are some errors it's saying it needs controller but we have given our controller so how to deal with it simply uh, restart your app or hot reload our app like hot restart your app then you can see the tabs yes now there's tab 1 and tab 2 and how to get the contents in the tab 1 and tab 2 so for that we need to simply write in our body let's take a body and in the body let's take tab bar view and in the tab bar view it takes children's and the children's in the tab bar view and the tab should be similar length and it give the controller tab controller for the tab bar view and in the children's suppose take the child text for example tab bar this will be the content in the first tab similarly for the second tab we'll give a text of tab 2 and now let's save our app and now you can see the content of tab 1 and tab 2 when we press tab 1 and tab 2 we can see the tab 1 and tab 2 the contents now now suppose you want the tab bar in the middle of your body or somewhere in another position so how can we do that so let's remove our body tab bar view and we'll give it a column suppose we have a column and in the column let's say we have a container and in the container let's give it the height and width of 100 and the color of red okay so now you can see a red container let's remove our tab bar from the bottom bottom of our app bar okay so now if you want to give the tab bar below our container we can simply paste our tab bar below the container let's save our app now you can see the tabs but we cannot see the label so let's give it a label color of color black okay so now you can see the tabs so let's give it some indicator weight of 5 so now uh, let's start let's take a container of some height and width below it as well so container of height 50 and width 50 
and the color of the container is yellow okay for the visual purpose and now how we can give the contents of our tab so like previously we can simply declare tab bar view and give it a controller and the children's of the our tab let's say same like in center we'll give a text of tab one the children of text yeah type tab one okay so and the container context of tab two would be the same text of tab two let's save our app but as you can see the tab one and tab two is not functional so what is the problem so for that we need to do is simply get our tab bar view inside a widget called default tab controller so you need to write default tab controller and simply give it a length of two because we want the length of our tabs to be two and in the children let's take a container and in the container we'll give our tab bar view okay so this is how you can access the contents of the tab so give it a height we'll give it a height of let's say 100 and the color of color green okay so now let's save our app and now you can see the contents of tab 1 and tab 2 we can simply change the tab and 1 and tab 2 to see the contents so now let's see if we want to remove the padding between the tabs default padding so we'll write is scrollable equal to true so it will remove the padding between the tabs so but as you can see the padding between the tab text and the label is still not gone so how we can decrease or increase the space between the title and the indicator so simply wrap our tab bar with a container and give it some height to the container that you want for example 20 no 30 so this is how you can change the height of your tab bar in flutter uh, and hope you found this video helpful do subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you in the next video